So me and Maisie are gonna show you how to create three different buttons for your Canvas pages that make navigating things so much easier. Hang on until the end when I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite, easiest one to create. Let's dive in. I created a page for us to use when we're creating our buttons. Let me hit the edit button here, but you can do this really wherever you've got a rich content editor, like assignments or discussions, even announcements. Um, but I'm gonna start with the traditional buttons as images. These I tend to use a lot on my welcome pages. I'm gonna give myself a little extra room. Let me just do shift enter a couple of times and let's create our button. I'm gonna do it in Google Drawings. And I use Google Drawings because it's free and it's super easy. Once I'm here, all I've gotta do is to insert a shape. Now, I really like the ones that are a rectangle with the rounded corners, but there's so many shapes that you can choose from. You can either do insert and then shape, or you can use the shape icon. I'm gonna use the shape icon and I'm gonna to go to shape shapes and I really want this one with the rounded corners. Now it gives you this little crosshatch so you can click hold and drag to create your shape. So I'm just going to click hold and drag to create my shape. You can adjust it once you've got it there and um, I think it looks pretty good but notice I've got all of this empty space here. When I save this as an image it's going to save the entire like canvas right. So I'm going to go over to the lower right corner and I'm going to hover over it until I Get this diagonal for my cursor and once I've got that I can click hold and drag to make my canvas the same size as this button okay so I've got my button but I definitely want to change some things I want to add some text and to do that I just double click on the center it couldn't be easier and I want this one to say um, homework question videos um, not a great font, not a great color, so let's do some customizing. I really want this background color to be a lot darker and I want my letters to be white. So let's do the background color first. I'm looking for that fill color, that bucket symbol. So I'm going to click on the fill color and I want it to be um, a much darker blue. And I want these letters to be a white color. So up to my font, there it is. So up to my text color, I want that one to be a white. And I also want to change the font. So I'm actually a big fan of Comic Sans. I'm going to grab Comic Sans and I want to make it quite a bit bigger. So let's do the drop down arrow and maybe 30 is a little bit big. How about 24? There's so many different things that you can do to customize. Now I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it like this. Let's save it. I'm going to go over to file and then download. I'm going to choose PNG image so I get that transparent background. So PNG image, where to go? PNG G image and just save this as untitled drawing. Okay, I will remember what that's called. Let's go back to our page in Canvas. So I've got my cursor where I want the button to live. I'm going to insert this image. So I'm going to go up here and go insert and then image. I want to upload that image. I could grab it out of my download tray, but I'm going to click the rocket ship and get it from my downloads. And I want this one, untitled drawing 22, that was it. And then open. It's really important to put alt text here and I'm going to say button that navigates to the homework question videos page um, and then submit. Now it's going to show up a little bit bigger than I want it, but all I've got to do now is to click on it. I get these four little blue squares in the corners. I'm going to hover over one of those and I get that same little diagonal tool. This is my resizing tool. Let's click, hold and drag this until I get it the shape that I want. As amazing as this button is that we just created, it doesn't actually go anywhere when you click it. So the most important step is to link it. And you can link it either to something in your course or you can link it to an external site. I'm gonna link it to my homework question videos page in this class. To do that, I'm gonna click on it to select that image and I'm gonna insert a link. Two ways that you can get there. You can go insert and then you can choose a link course link. The other way to do it, I think is just a tiny bit quicker. You can go over here to the link icon and then click the down arrow. Don't click the link and then choose course link. Either way you get to the same place. I'm doing a course link. So I'm going to use this pop-up over here. I want to put it onto my homework question video page. They're alphabetical. Here it is homework help solution videos. If I wanted to create several buttons, it's so easy to do. Once you've got that first one, I can go back into Google drawing. 
we can super easily make a matching button now. Let's change the background color and I'm gonna change it to something like maybe a purple color. And I'm also gonna change this text and I'm gonna change it to like and subscribe. Okay, but seriously, if you could hit the like button, I would love that and it will get it out to more people. Next up, our button's using any image. So we're gonna step away from this traditional looking button and use any kind of an image, which works great in certain situations. We're going to create that home page button and I'm going to do it in Canva, but you can certainly do this with any other image that you find. Let me do one more. I'm going to put my cursor where I want that button to live. Let's open up Canva. Now Canva is free for most educators. Check out the link that I've got down in my description below. I've got the free version here, which is amazing. I'm gonna create a new design. So let's go ahead and click this create new design. I'm just gonna say, I want a square design. And we're just gonna do, um, sure, a Instagram post is fine. I really just care about the shape. Okay, that's perfect. So I just want one that's square. And then I'm gonna go over here to elements and I'm gonna search, you can see I was already searching for these. I'm gonna search for a home icon and I get lots of choices. I wanna go under graphics. So I'm gonna choose see all and you have so many different ones that you can choose from. Let me see, I liked, I think I liked this one right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it fills the space. Okay, great. And I don't like that gray color. Let's make it a nice green. So let's do the screen here. Once I've got my image, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And I again want a transparent background. So I'm gonna to go to share and then download. And I wanna choose transparent background. And I also wanna choose this PNG. So let's go ahead and choose PNG and then download. And no problem. So I've got that downloaded. Let's go ahead and put it into Canvas. So I'm going to upload this button and I want to insert an image. So insert image, upload image, just like we had done for the button that we made in Google Docs. So I'm going to upload this image, click the rocket ship. There is my image with a transparent background. Click open. And I am going to put some alt text here. And this is a um, button that navigates to the home page for this class. Okay. And then submit. Um, it looks like it's going to be really big. So let's click on it. I'm also going to click on this little array of dots over in the right hand corner. And I'm going to get that resizing tool that's up and down. I'm going to click, hold and drag to make this a little bit larger, but that's way too big. I've clicked on it. So I've got those four dots. I'm going to resize this one just like I had done with the other button. Now that I've got this button exactly like we did with the Google button, I'm going to click on this one. I want to link it to my homepage. So this time let's do insert link. I'm going to do a course link. I want to use course navigation and I want it to go to home. So when a student clicks on that, it will take them right back to home. I don't think I've saved this page. So let me do that. I'm going to click on save. Now the two that we've done up to this point are images that we've turned into links. We can also use HTML code, which we're not going to create. We can also use HTML code though, to create an actual clickable button. We're going to do that next, but we're going to do that in a super Super cool, amazing way with the help of AI. We're going to do this in ChatGPT. Let's click edit and then we'll go over to ChatGPT. Let me put my cursor. I'm just going to do a couple of shift enters there and we're going to put a button right here. Now I am not good at coding, just enough really to get me into trouble, but ChatGPT is excellent at coding. Let's go to ChatGPT. I'm here in ChatGPT. I'm going to ask it to write the HTML code for us to create that button. So I'm going to say, um, if my cursor there, write HTML code to create a button that I can use in my Canvas LMS class. And then let's go ahead and send that. So it gives me all of this code and then it asks if there's anything else I want to do. And I do want to make it more stylized. So I'm going to say, can you make it more stylized? If I can spell that. So the button and text stand out. We're going to be able to do some of this on our own. A stand out one word or two. I think it probably won't matter. Um, and use a good contrast in the color of the background versus the font. Okay, let's go ahead and send that. And it's going to make a couple of edits for me. Okay, which is great. 
If you don't want to mess around with ChatGPT, I've got you covered. Go to the link in my description below and it will take you right to this page that I created. You can find the code all ready for you to copy and paste into Canvas. Let's go ahead and copy it. And even though you don't understand all of it, that's okay. There's just a few places that we're going to make some edits to customize this for our class. So let's hit copy. And then back over here, now I'm not going to put the HTML code in my rich content editor. Instead, I'm going to go down to the bottom over in this right hand corner and I'm going to click the HTML editor icon. So let's click on this and I'm going to put my cursor at the very end and hit enter. And then I'm going to do a control V. Now this one laid it out really nice for me. Sometimes it will give you the code and it will just be all in one line, but this one laid it out really nice. Let's go through some of the things that you need to customize and some of the things that you just don't even need to worry about. First of all, look to see if you've got a link somewhere in your code. Now it might be at the beginning, it might be at the end, mine happens to be at the beginning, but I'm looking for the href. I don't want this link. Instead, we're gonna insert a link using Canvas. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. So delete, I'll delete one more time. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the display. The padding, this is how big it is. So if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller, you could change this from 12 and 24 to 20 and 40. So this padding here is your size. Font size, you can change that number as well. It put it in bold, which is great. And it's given me this color and this happens to be the hex code for white. We can change the colors and it gives me the background color, which we're gonna find out what that hex code is for here in just a second. Um, and the other stuff you don't need to worry about until you get down here where it says, click here. No, we don't want it to say click here. We want it to say um, homework question or let's say homework videos. And I also don't want this little icon here. So let's get rid of that icon. So we'll change that to homework videos. Let's go back to the rich content editor. I'm going to click that same icon and we can see what this looks like so far. Oh gosh, it looks really nice. And that gave me an orange color, but maybe you wanted to change the color. This is also really easy to do. Let's go back to the HTML editor and now it's put it all in one line. So I'm going to look for my color. So this color right here, sometimes it'll just say white, but it says FFFF. This is my um, text color. The next one is the background color. I want to change that background color to be more of a darker green. So I'm going to go to these HTML color codes. So it's htmlcolorcodes.com, which is a really, really nice free way to find these hex codes. There are a ton of ads, which can be a little bit obnoxious. And you can see I was already playing around with some green colors colors. You can of course move this up and down to go to any color that you want. You can scroll down here and use this kind of a color picker, which is also really nice. So maybe I'll do um, this color right here and it gives me that hex code. Let's copy it. So I'm going to do a control C to copy. So control C and then back to my HTML code and background color is here and I don't want it to be this orange. So I'm going to highlight what was there and then I'm going to do a control V. Now, if you were on a Mac, you would have done command C to copy and then command V, but I'm doing control V here. So control V. Um, I can also make this bigger. So let's say that instead of the 12 by 24, I wanted to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change that 12 to 18 and I'm going to change the 24 to a 36 to get a little bigger button. Let's go ahead and switch back to the rich content editor and take a look. Okay, so there's my green background and it looks great. Now I've got one more super important thing that I need to do and that's of course to link this. I'm going to link it right here and to link it, I can't actually click on this. Instead, it's going to link the text, which also links the button. I'm going to link that text and I'm going to go to insert and then link and then course link. And we are going to link it to that homework question video page. Let's hit save so you can see all three of those buttons. I would love to know how you use buttons in your class. I will see you next time.